and the ancient enemies that had taken the grounds of that person. They did not know when that person was taken away. And yet the Lord is going to bring forth what you need to have In one season and one day, you shall be taken to a new place. Yeah, your enemies will not be able to find you. Yeah, the Lord will nourish you for a season and raise you up as a strength in Zion. And you will come back as a triumphant king. Somebody shout hallelujah. That had pet the grounds of that person did not know when that person was taken away. And I hear the Lord say, You bring comfort to him that has been helpless. In one season and one day, you shall be taken to a new place where your enemies will not be able to find you. There, yeah, the Lord will nourish you for a season and raise you up as a strength in Zion and you will come back as a triumphant king somebody shout hallelujah he just cast the garment on somebody who has been helpless who is almost in despair thinking it's becoming hopeless and he wicks the person off from all those flesh eaters and negativism around that person and planted the person in a new place today the ground is shifting under you your seasons are changing I didn't hear somebody say amen Come on, let's give Jesus a big clap off in somewhere. You may be seated, please. I have come to lead the way to flag off this program. And I'm going to do it very simply, unexpectedly, because I didn't come here to impress any of you. Most of you are like children to me. Did you hear what I said? If I have children in their thirties, if our oldest child were alive, that one would be close to 37 now. Did you hear what I said? Our oldest daughter is 35 and that one still has senior. Did you hear what I said? Listen, I'm just going, you, you will permit me to obey the Lord. I'll just do that. You see, those of us who are foreigners, we prepare the way for those who are bigger. So the bigger fathers are coming. Eh? We are just foreigners who prepare the way. Eh? Did you hear what I said? Eh, the, the real prophets. Uh, the real uh, the ones who lay claim to being true fathers to him who also happens to be my very close pal very close, you touch one, you touch the other in the recent times we have become twins, I repeat you touch one, you touch the other, no matter how nasty I look, he likes me like that and no matter how gra gra he looks and rough me too, I like her like that. Did you hear what I just said? You touch one, you touch the other. But I told him that even if I by mistake had had this on the road, I would postpone what I am doing. I will step in here quietly and mark present. And just bless him and leave.
how much more when I am given the privilege to blow the first shofar? You don't know the meaning of number first. It sanctified the lump. Listen, sir. From today, anything where you know they fear God touch you, that thing go die pre prematurely. You're about to enter into a very dangerous season of divine power and authority. In fact, the four winds started clamoring for you in the last one year. Fighting for where you should be situated at. Real clamor has been going on for you in the last one year. Clamor as to where you should be situated. But this is because of your strategic place in the divineness of God, in the divine program that is about to come, the messianic program that is about to unveil. No, that has already started unveiling. Because you are in the heart of it. You are in the heart of God's heartbeat in this season. So the world has gone to war on your behalf. Fighting for you upon some space. I saw the Lord like the child in the wilderness. Send very strategic angels of time and seasons. To come in all their fullness and glory. And to form a wall of fire around you. To protect the seed that is hidden in your life. Sir, your seasons have been predetermined. Because it has been to be determined, you shall not be afraid of anything. Amen. Wherever it makes you step into, if that water was not intended to recede, and it is supposed to recede to allow you to succeed in your mission, it will recede by force. Amen. If there was no water, and the place was supposed to be full of water, because you are there, even if you were there before the time, the water will gather. Hallelujah. I hear the father say, be careful not to walk according to the timings of men. Follow the instructions in the spirit and you will always be there on time. You will never be late. Therefore, I hear the Lord say, in this 40th birthday, I am taking away the old shoes and I'm putting upon you new sandals and new shoes and a new glory I hear the Lord say I will make the old to pass away and behold ah baba listen stand up sir because by the time I'm done I will drop from this altar. Go, go to your seat. I will allow... Mommy, say something. You can stand up, please. Stand up and sit down. Quickly. We're going to, it's going to be mainly ministrations and prophetic actions. Uh, I have not come here to preach. Those who will do the things will do their things. I just came here to serve the will and the wish of the Father. Did you hear what I said? In his life. In his life. Some of you don't know what fires this man has gone through. I don't even know them enough. But listen to me. He has come a long way from being unknown to the known. And up till now, Satan is still fighting to cast a shadow and make him unknown. Just because he comes from the north. Forgive me for using that. Just because, listen, listen, because he has no pre-degree or pedigree. Whichever one you choose, you are still correct, whether pre-degree or pedigree. Eh? Follow the history of any of those words you choose, you will still end up with the same. That 
means this guy has no beginning and has no end. Somebody mysteriously manifested him and that person shall see to his end alone. The lineage that he has behind him is the one who called him from nowhere to make him carry his church to somewhere and disappear after that. He's on a journey. Even he does not know where that journey is taking him to. But I saw the journey before I came here. That is why I'm here. I'm not just here to honor him. I'm here to proclaim the strange things I have seen. And you will forgive me if you don't understand some. I asked myself this morning, what will your father during this week maybe not do to you publicly that I ought to do? When I say his father, the mentor who worries about him too much, who sometimes abuses him out of context, but still abuses him all the same. That is why he has the right to flog him when he likes. And he just, he's the only one that can talk to you and we say yes and keep quiet. Whether right or wrong. If you don't know him, you will know him when he comes. Because even you, he will abuse you first before he gets you. <laughs> Thank God he is not here. He will have said I've started again. I'm the only one who can challenge him and still sleep well. <laughs> At least of all the people I know now to say them by Jimaka Idova. When he turns that his eyes, even if you are the president, you better disappear. Eh? That Igbo <laughs> when they take before before the thing never expire completely for her. Eh? Jesus just added a dimension to it and the thing just evolved. I know my friend, I told you I'm the only one who can talk about him like this. And we will still sleep well and settle down. Listen. Very important. As many of you as can buy new shoes and new clothes, Good ones, special ones. Maybe you've already done before today, but this 40th birthday is a change of complete garments. Raiment. I'm going to say something that is going to weigh on him for the rest of his life. Something that Joseph said, and if you know Joseph, you know his background. 13 years of slavery. Different kinds of slavery. Prisoner and slave. Listen. You want to throw something at him? Throw it. Before I conclude my own. Praise God. As I stood there... Um, because I kept asking the Lord, if I'm given the opportunity to say something, what do I say? And um, the Lord said, 40 is the number of the womb. 40 years, they went through the wilderness. As they got through the end of the journey, the river opened, and they went through the water. <laughs> the flood was 40 days. I mean, 40 days. So number 40 is the number of the womb. That is where I am coming from. That's where I'm standing with my husband on you now, in the place of the womb. That you've come through this journey. You are about to be reborn. This is a reborn for you. Everything that you've been through, everything that you've seen is wilderness. Is wilderness. And as my husband kept talking, talking about the wilderness, it was just a confirmation. It's wilderness. Now you are stepping into another level of being born to possess the promise. That every form, every form of what God has written concerning you, this is the time of reaching out and possessing that promise. Because you are stepping out in the place of the cycle of 40 and being shoot out to take over 
the promised land. And that promised land is what God has shown you that you have never entered into. You are about to enter into everything that you've seen. All that you have gone through cannot be compared with where, where you are going. And the Lord is giving you strength to prosper. God is giving you power to overcome. God is giving you the skill that you need right now. In the name of Jesus, that from the womb of the Spirit, you are by God. You will stand out a different person. Going into the place that the Father has preordained for you. You will arise in that place. And every word of the Lord this week concerning you is to push you to that place of reborn. In the name of Jesus. Father, thank you for this season and time that number 40 has come to shoot out your son. The Lord, as a child born from you, raised up by you, whose life is hidden in you, he shall step out in your strength, stretch out in your clothing, as you have said. So shall it be with him. So shall it be with his, with his wife, your handmaiden. In the name of Jesus, thank you because you've said it. It is done in Jesus' name. Can I hear all shout in? Listen, 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 listen. Listen. In the days when I started ministry, there was no one to help me birth. I struggled like a baby in the womb, in the pangs of birth, to find my way. I taught the umbilical cord by myself. We walk through that wilderness without help in the north. Did you hear what I just said? What my wife just did is standing with your mom in the place of birth to say today the womb releases you Amen. to fulfill every purpose that you were ordained to fulfill. The desert spirit will not stop you. The desert spirit will not steal from you. The measurement of the desert spirit will not limit you. Today, there is an adoption of the spirit. The mystery of that woman that was taken to the wilderness. And the angels and the Holy Ghost helped her to bear her child. And there was war. Don't you know there has been a war concerning you? Don't you know at this 40th, that war again was reignited? Is it because you don't see it? Don't you know in the, the next one year, will actually decide where you lift up from here? Don't you know? Can't you see the things that are happening around you? Are you distracted by the too many things that are going on right now? That you can't see where your identity is calling you into? I hear the Lord say, in the midst of this rubble and rumbling, shall come forth a seed. He shall bear children. And the children shall mark the new generation. Amen. The children shall water the ground. The children shall quench the thirst of the desert lands. Amen. You're about to bear children that will carry the healings of the nations in their hands. Amen. The old is being cut off. The dry lands have been taken away. The desert place is disappearing. There is a major, 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 major green land that is opening for you. A new vineyard is being handed over with a new glory accompanying it. For behold, the face of your mother's womb is over. The face of the womb of God, the eternal, is taking over from this 40th year. Can somebody begin to worship God somewhere? Somebody praise the Lord, bless the Lord, lift him up. 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Be thou exalted, exalted, exalted. Emmanuel. Give me the other answer. Be thou exalted, Baba exalted, exalted. Be thou exalted, exalted, exalted in the world. sama, Jesus my cheto. Malai kuna sama. Su my cheto, malaikuna sama. Genesis fifteen. <laughs> Verses 23 and 24. Sorry, 22 to It is today God is going to put a ring in your hand. Listen. That God is going to marry you properly. The Bible says your land will be married. If your land will be married, you will be married. It's today. It's today. And that's why today I'm going to use your father's closeness with me or your mentor's closeness. Let me use that word. Because only God knows who are the true fathers. Your mentors, the one we know in the public, we used to make contact. I'm going to use his hand like those Bilha and the rest of them did for for Rachel and Leah and I'm going to bet something I'm going to wash your feet to release you from the past as a father in the land at least one of the few fathers of the north so from now you will not walk by yourself You will walk with the blessings of the ancients. When Jesus released the apostles before their first apostolic walk, he washed their feet. He released them. Even when they said, no, 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 no. He said, I needed to do it. If it were not for that, none of them would have succeeded in their mission. I'm going to wash your feet and once I'm done with that, I will drop the mic and leave. Because I've finished my work. You know this because you have preached it. 40 years is always the end of a cycle. It's a full cycle. And the beginning of a new. 40 years. Moses lived 120 years. Now listen. Because it's very important sir. Before ke igriman kai ke chowe kazama baba mutunko. Listen, because this is very important. It took Moses 40 years to be ready for leadership. 
So everything you have done from all your suffering put together, from the day you got born again, eh? you, are, you still have letter L. They are all learning years, making years, training years, construction years. For those of you who don't know, it took Jesus 30 years to be ready for a three-year ministry. He was to carry out three-year ministry. And God trained him from childhood until he became an adult. 30 years to do a three-year work. Ah! Every day he was not ready. Until he was more than ready to marry, he was still not ready. 30 years before he qualified. Who told you it is too late for you? Any of you that Satan has stolen years from you, I command your years to pursue you and overtake you now. I command your years to pursue you and overtake you now. That your life be recovered in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody shall recover. Somebody shall recover. Now, listen, sir. The Lord is causing a shift to take place in Nigeria now. A major shift in Nigeria. A major shift all over the world. It's not just Nigeria, so don't be myopic. This thing where they happen, they happen everywhere. It's a major shift. And let me tell you something. God is turning you into the bridge or the bridge for three generations. Three generations unto this where you born. So this 40 years eh, is to expose you to all you should not be innocent of. You are no longer an innocent man. Eh? You are just beginning. Look, because if you don't keep the set straight path, it will be a struggle to see 60. I'm talking as prophet. And I will tell you why soon. I will tell you why soon. I will tell you why soon. Because it's very important you learn these lessons of the law. Very important. I'm just going to break it like that. Give you like an instructor and leave. What else can come and preach and do anything want to do but I don't finish my own part. Mine is to hand over a tablet and leave. You were preordained to be the bridge. Or the better, the one who births three generations. The life of these youths here are going to be required from your hands. And interestingly, the lives of the generation after them will be required from your hands. Then the generation after their generation, three generations, will be required from your same hands. It means you were preordained to be very old. At 40, God puts a ring in your hands. Listen, because it's very important. If you successfully reign for another 40 years, he puts a crown on your head. You don't wear the crown the day you wear the ring. Eh? The ring only takes you from dead to life. Go and look at the New Testament. He said, my son was dead. But today he's alive. Why should not I celebrate him for receiving life? They gave him the ring for life. Not the ring for death. At 40, you receive the ring. That is when the promise of long life. If God finds the altar looking at him, he's promised you. All this shakara, where you don't they do. Now, now, then go take stock. Then go open your book. Then go mark the first exam, the first cycle. Moses qualified. You will notice that Moses only became, became, became a god at 40. A 
And in Exodus chapter 7 verse 1, God says, I will make you a God over Pharaoh. It's now you will begin to become a God. All this are going to eat tunda so yawane. Eh? Yes, you know, mazasunzo, zamo so keke na mijine. Koko achacha mba kikeke yisha karuna. That's why you don't mock elders when you see them. Because you will get the crossing point yourself to the crossing point. That is when you will know whether you are real or fake. That is why a spiritual mentor does not play with me. We all know where we are coming from. We all know where we are coming from. Some of the elders who know me are here. In this not, Akaiba. Bayora University. Do you know how many times they attempted to throw me from up there and the Holy Ghost showed up? What have we not suffered in this north? Ah! I love that man of Galilee for he has done so very much for me he has forgiven me all my sins and sent the holy ghost i love that man and the lord said okay he's gone to moses see i have made thee a god to pharaoh that is the face you are in now. You have been transformed into a God. At 40 is when God put the ring of a God in your hand. That is when you are truly commissioned though. All this one, you can betray him any day. All these 40 years. 40. God made him a God. Moses wore a crown as king if you don't know. In the Bible, before he died, God himself called him king after another 40 years. Don't forget, God made him a God. Sorry, I said at 40, at 80. He spent 40. He went out to the training ground. Another 40. It took him 40 years to be trained. Then at the end, they made him a god. For the first time, he qualified to wear the ring. Then after 40 years, he qualified to wear what? Deuteronomy 33, verse 5. There, put it on the screen because you are so fast with this, your screen. No, verse 5, not 10. 33, 5. Okay, let's start from verse 3. He was king in Jeshurun. They're already announcing who he was. King in Jeshurun means he was a king of righteousness. King in righteousness. God alone gives you that crown. Sir, listen. You are Yahweh. You are there. Do you know it was only I was wondering why at 80 years that I had God called that the Adebo a, a king. 80. Listen. The list of God's kings righteous, if you are a righteous king you reign for 40 years. That means if you behave yourself and do righteousness, you are sure of another 40 years. Did you hear what I just said? You are sure of another 40 years. And by the time they add the years, you started ministering faithfully. Till that time, you can now be called king of Jeshurun. The crown is connected to four years of righteous reign. 40 years, sorry, of righteous reign. All the kings of promise in the Bible that kept God's word, 
and patterns and God was pleased with them. They reigned 40 years. Listen. May God start your mathematics for you now. now. Why am I doing all these calculations? I want you to listen. From the time that the Adebo ascended the throne in 1981, when he became the redeemed general overseer, till now it's about 42 years. Scripture, you saw it there. Because I don't want to waste time trying to interpret one scripture and doing all the work. I came to do a different thing today. To tie those strings, I don't have the time. Maybe another Bible study and maybe he will tie it up for you. Tidy up or change it if he likes. That is his palaver. I don't finish my own. Because I've passed through it. <laughs> How old was Joshua? We are talking about age today. Eh? He is opening the gates of 40. These are the ages you announce. Otherwise, you keep quiet. Nobody hears your age until a prophetic one comes. Because it's not about age. This thing, now anointing. No be age. Small picking, they do raise the dead. No be age. Now anointing. God found you in the holy wilderness, anointed you and picked you out. That's all you need. No be your background. Mm -mm, it doesn't matter. old was Joshua? He was 40 years when he was sent out to spy the land. At 40, God proclaimed that nobody when they failed the test to, God said nobody Who was above 20 at that time will see the land of milk and honey. Nobody. I repeat. Meaning that God starts really holding you accountable thoroughly and seriously from 20. Because whatever you do up to 19 uh, maybe Because we all go through the temptations of youth. God begins to trust you more when you cross 20 and you still remain persistent by his country. Then God said, this guy is now getting my attention. Can we start some serious talk? Otherwise, at 18, if you enter university, everything will disappear. I'm free. I'm free. That is when you start singing the other song the opposite way. I was once blind, but now I see. You are seeing in the world now. Because you think you are wiser. You have read the opium of the masses. I did that more than you. We all did it. I was a crazy man when the Lord caught up with me. Never planned to be born again any day. So let's leave that matter. Many of us were picked from the dustbin like that. And I was intelligent enough to make it. I, I planned making it by myself. Forgive me if you don't understand how, sir. It comes with the terrain sometimes. Listen, because this is very important. God swore that nobody from 20 years old who saw that calf built will enter Canaan. How many years did they stay in the wilderness? 40 years, another cycle. Meaning that all the senior elders who entered Canaan, the highest was 60 years old. Maybe except Caleb. 
But all the others had become 60 when they entered into their rest. Meaning that don't begin to expect anything that really makes you rest until 60. So don't start retirement plan at 50. We will resurrect from wherever we are and give you bulala. It is now at 60. In our 60s, we are telling God the journey is just beginning. Can you give us grace? If people like that, the Adebo is still at 80. 42 years as president leader of a ministry consistently every year the ministry growing and expanding and expanding his zeal has not diminished his glory has not diminished the souls have not diminished his strength is still the same ah and some of you still have because you say you are youths you know better ways of doing it you can open your mouth and abuse somebody that wears a crown you know the fear I don't care how much he messes up now. He has a right to even mess up. He don't try. He don't try. Have you walked the path he has walked? Do you know how many temptations he has faced? He don't try. That's why I would never open my mouth. To speak against those in those age groups who have served for more than 40 years. I will never open my mouth. Only God knows the physical demons they saw. The spiritual they saw. What they've had to hold themselves from to get to where they are. I pray to reach where they are and cross. Each time I went to the boy to apply to die. I've done that. Daddy, can we say goodbye? You just release me, let me go. He said, where are you going to? I'm still alive. Rainy Nefa. I'm still alive. Eh? And you are telling me you are going to die. To where? Has my God forsaken me? In that pit, my God will stand with you there. You I will never bury any of my children. He repeated it at my birthday. Or during one of my celebrations. He said, do you remember when you came to tell me to let you go? Because this one, you are not going to run. Let the enemy come. Let's face ourselves. If it is dead, let me die. He said, yes. You will stand and we stand them. They will come. They will threaten. They will draw out the guns and the knife. But you are not going anywhere. I don't know how you come out, but you are going to come out. He didn't say run away. He know for this purpose, he, even if he told me to run away, I won't run away. And these are the fathers you want us to abuse because you don't know them. You don't know where their faith is founded. Forty years. Now, listen, let me say this very quickly. Thank God I'm throwing some scriptures and they are putting it immediately. Let me tell you something very quickly, sir. Everything you have done from the time you started ministry, I don't know when. I've not cared. I've not Googled you to do any research. I don't want to know. But from the time you got born again till now, everything you have done is trying to lay foundations. Now, for those of you that are not up to 40, listen. Between that 20 years that we spoke of, the Bible talks of, and 40, in case you are running late, listen. Between 20 and 40, you are supposed to have laid the foundation to everything that has to do with your life and your godliness. If you are supposed to have just a house, a room and parlor, but it's called by your name, by 40 you should have one. So many of you are running behind time. Forty. 
40 days and nights, God laid the foundation of a new world with just a few people under Noah. 40 is meant for laying foundations, completing foundations, not still building them. All. Foundation of marriage, the areas of marriage, security, property, estate. At least have one house to represent the many houses you will have by 40. If you don't have many houses yet. Eh? Have one small car, even if it's the smallest one. To show that you are going to be the king of many cars. And some of you are looking at yourselves. Is this man dreaming? For this present Nigeria. You at 39. Agbaya Lasson. What are you still waiting for? Are you still not your mates that are executives in companies? Oh yes, they started school earlier than you. That is true. But Christ in me, the hope of glory. See, in the day you got born again, why have you not accelerated? Why are you still st standing in one place, sulking everywhere, and still begging to be taught like a baby every day? And be begged every day. Don't you know you are the one who has slowed? No demon can stop you from hell. Stop being negative and satanic. Who told you? You are supposed to have all those things finished. By now. He's supposed to have a simple house of his own. Like the way I used to dream. I used to dream that by 40, all I needed was a small two-bedroom flat, me and my wife. I had always said it was an abomination for me to have less than a two-bedroom flat. Not room and parlor, it's not my portion. Where will the visitor stay? We can't share room together. And get a little compound to go with it. Plant a little tree. Where I sit underneath in the evening with a wrapper and chew my. That was what I used to do. Simple life, ordinary life. Take fresh air in my own compound where you can't come to abuse my papa. I didn't know God had another plan for me. And I told everybody, like a madman who was with me that time, born again like me, if you are getting towards 40, you don't have a house yet. And if you don't have a wife, except if it is by the design of God, I will kick you out of that slumber. You must own a small car, a house. I made it a law for everybody. I even turned it into a law to most of my earlier staff. So many of them started building. Right now, most of my earlier staff, there is no one without his own house. Because of that policy. I believed in it. I pushed them. I kick them. You see why my brother fights anybody who fights me? They don't know what we have labored in a generation. And they come for small things they see now in their late times. They make noise. Go and do your own look we see. Today, if you still have a few more years to 40, if you have 10 more years, Today, I yoke your remaining years in covenant. Amen. By covenant, God built Israel. Brought Israel to the promised land. Today, by covenant, be brought to the promised land. Amen. I rebuke every obstruction in your life. I rebuke spirits that stand in your way. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive your release now. I declare an acceleration. Wherever you missed it, from today it is corrected Amen. listen before you clock 40 all your basics must be intact Amen. so go and make a list and start ticking eh? don't join the queue anymore ask God where is the way let him show you the way eh? turn around and follow the way You like following the normal. 
Ask God where is the way that is righteous, though. Follow the way. 